Hi guys, my name is Andy and today I'm doing a review of Barbon Court 15 Reserve du Domaine, which um, is a rum from, the, from Haiti and Haiti is on the island of Hispaniola and it shares its borders with the Dominican Republic and it's situated in the Greater Antilles Archipelago of the Caribbean. Um, Haiti is also, like I say, it's one of the poorest uh, countries in the Caribbean and it's obviously suffered drastically with the earthquakes going back some years ago and they're still to this day trying to scrabble back from that terrible earthquake and um, also Haiti is well known for witchcraft and voodoo so watch your step if you ever go over there. Uh, basically the heritage on this rum goes back way way back to a guy called uh, Dupree Barbancourt. Now 150 years ago Dupree Barbancourt perfected his uh, recipe for his range of rums and um, he died without leaving a hair. So his nephew uh, Paul Gardair, he um, took over the uh, managing of the, the distillery and it's gone down through generations and generations of the Gardaire family. And today, uh, a gentleman called Thierry Gardaire is producing the rum at that distillery. Um, Barman Court Rum is a rum agricole, which uh, is a French in origin, the word, um, meaning from sugarcane juice rather than from molasses. Most rums are from molasses based, which is a byproduct of the sugarcane industry, whereas rum agricole is from straight pressing of sugarcane. And you get more grassier and greener notes uh, and different flavours and lighter rum as well, it seems, seems to be. So, um, agricole actually derives from the word agricultural. So it's agricultural rum when they first um, press it and get the base spirit. Um, as with a lot of distilleries, uh, Barb and Court actually produce their own yeast um, blend from their laboratories and use their own yeast, which they say gives certain elements in the fermentation that, that gives their end product the flavours and nuances that, that are distinctive to the Barb and Court rum. Um, the fermentation period is a lot longer than the average uh, rum. It's three days ferment fermentation and they get the fermentation liquid to 7% alcohol. And uh, the fermentation, like I said, three days, it's longer than the average uh, rum that's out on there for dis distillation. But they say it, like as with the fermentation, uh, they, they say that it adds to the flavour and the end product, and I'm sure it does. So they use a unique double distillation method on, on their rums, and what they do is they, they distill the, the, the sugarcane uh, juice, the fermented sugarcane juice, um, to get their first spirit out there, which is their core spirit, and they then double distill it to draw off the finer spirit from it. And it has to be at 90% alcohol by volume, bloody hell. And they get that, that, that spirit at 90% alcohol by volume. They then um, dilute it down to 43%. And then they put it into these massive limousine oak casks, which are like mega casks up to uh, your standard casks. And then they age them then for the period of set times uh, in those limousine oak casks. Um, basically, that's the, your, your, your heritage and your uh, a little bit of background about the production. So now what I'm going to do is, I've already poured a glass about, about 20 minutes ago, because this rum um, is one of the rums, some rums, or a lot of rums actually, it's always best when you open them to leave them a little while and they tend to, they do bring out other flavours from them and you'll, you'll get more, uh, might pick up more flavours as the rum settles. So I poured this one about 20 minutes ago 
ready for tasting. So first of all, let's have a quick look at the bottle. Um, it comes actually in a lovely, really colourful box, you know, depicting typical sort of Haitian scene of, of colourful scene on there, of sort of marketplace. A really nice box, comes lovely. Then the bottle itself is in the standard Barden Court sort of colours. All their rums come in this standard brown bottle and gold colouring and labelling. And they go from um, stars. So you have a three star, four star, five star, then the 15. So, you know, you know, it looks nice. It's distinctive. You know, as soon as you see it, you know it's Barb and Court. So I don't suppose they want to change it in any way. I will say that I'm not keen on the... the uh, just the metal top. I don't feel it seals the, the rum very greatly. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't like the metal top. That's the one thing I would say they could change. But other than that, yeah, it's presented okay. Uh, Colour, you know, if you look at that, it's a sort of a light amber in colour. Okay, and then uh, on the nose, it really, and I tell you, leaving it for half an hour, 20 minutes, does open up. It's, I, get, I tried a glass of this when I poured this one, so to get the, to see the difference, and there is a big difference. That's really mellowed out a lot. You get vanilla from it, you certainly get vanilla. There's a caramel smell in this, for sure. Go into almost butterscotch. It's, it's really nice. Get maybe a little slight uh, scent of cinnamon and maybe even a little orange tinge in there. And you can smell an oakiness about it as well. So it's, it's all in all on the nose, it's really nice. It's quite a lovely rum. And then we go for a little taste. Where, well, yeah. Sweet on entry, really is sweet. Uh, with caramel, uh, a little burst of citrus, I'm getting there, leading to a little tingling of pepper. You obviously get, you're getting the flavour of vanilla coming in, a bit of cinnamon and oak and it's get, and then it goes to quite an astringent oak. So I can taste it in there. Uh, and we go for a finish. It's a lovely, long, starts, the finish is long, dry and oaky. It's, it's, it is a really nice, very, very refined rum. It's like, a, it's not a ballsy rum, which, you know, gets, knocks you. Uh, it is a, quite a refined drink. It's really nice, and uh, I would say to, for the, for anybody who's into their rums, to get a bowl and uh, give you a good a good base to try the difference between a molasses based rum and a, a sugar cane uh, a rum a rum agricole. It, so yeah, I would say definitely have a pop, give it a go. I'm sure you'll love it. And uh, my name's Andy. And until next time, you guys enjoy.